Welcome, I'm Arlie with Bike Shop Girl, and today we're gonna be checking out the Cali City Helmet, which is my go-to urban helmet for cooler or wetter weather. The Cali City Helmet is 125 US dollars at the time of recording this in mid-April 2021, and it comes in five colors. I originally had the black one when it first came out, and that's the one that they sent me for review three years ago. And I've since purchased the fluorescent yellow just because I think it stands out a little bit more and I like the better visibility. With that disclaimer in there, I do wanna note that I sold a lot of the city bike helmet at my bike shop, which was a city urban style bike shop here in Denver, Colorado. And that's because this is a great helmet if it's wet or cool. And we're gonna cover some of the features that I love about this helmet. And then we'll also talk about maybe things that they could improve or make it so it's not for you. I think you get a lot for the $125, including an integrated eye shield that comes in two different colors in the box. You have a smoke version, which is gonna be good for riding at all times, including at night, or more of a sunglass style that personally I ride with most of the time because I wear eyeglasses, so I'm not worried about my eye protection at night. The coolest thing about this eye shield is that when not in use, it just pulls up into the helmet. I've tried a lot of helmets with various eye shields or e-bike and urban bike style eye shields, and they all sit on the outside of the helmet, even when stored. And I hate this because if I wanna put my helmet down, they pop off or they get scratched. So I really prefer the city helmet, mainly for that, reason because it can slide into the helmet and it's nice and safe and tucked away. The downfall of this design is you need to commit to one of those eye shields. It's not something that you can easily switch out on the fly. It's not difficult, but not something that I would want to do every morning depending on the weather. It doesn't have a lot of vents on the front because that's where the eye shield tucks away. There are vents on the top and the back, so it does have some ventilation, but it's not gonna be the helmet I'm riding with when it's warm out. I find the fit dial on the back is easy to use, especially with gloves. It's nice and big and turns quickly under my hands. This is important because when I am putting this helmet on with my eye shield and glasses, I actually loosen it, pull the eye shield down, and then tighten it up, often with gloves on. So I like that that dial's nice and big. On that note, it comes with these ear pads to help with cold weather. I find that they do work well, but you have to have your helmet chin strap tightened down pretty well so it keeps it nice and snug against your ears. The last cool feature that it comes with is a snap-on rear light. I don't have it on this helmet because I personally use either a light in motion or a planet bike light that has a more 180 degree uh, line of bright lightness, light brightness, where you can see more of the light from the side instead of just the back. The major con of this helmet would be fit. It doesn't fit like the rest of the Cali Urban line, and I've tried them all. It's more of a round helmet shape than an oval, and I would just recommend to really test fit this helmet before buying it because of the fit the actual helmet, but also making sure it works if you wear eyeglasses. That shield is nice because it's nice and tight against your face, but depending on your eyeglasses, it may not work for you. The next thing that I wish they changed, and this is for all city bike helmet manufacturers, and that's just to add some more reflective hits all around this helmet. You could easily do that by putting your logo in reflective stickers around the helmet. If you're wanting to ride this when it's really hot, that might be a downfall. But personally, this becomes my go-to helmet six months out of the year here in Denver, Colorado. Once it hits about 50 or 55 degrees Fahrenheit, down to about 15 degrees. Around 20, I'll put a cap underneath, but I wear this until it's really cold and I switch to more of a snow style helmet where I can close all the vents and there's a lot of padding inside to keep me warm. And then my last 
thing, which isn't a deal breaker. So I wish this helmet had a magnetic buckle on the chin strap. The other Urban helmets in their lineup have this, so I'm hoping that it's gonna be pulled over. I would happily pay five extra dollars for this because this is the helmet I'm wearing when I'm wearing gloves or mittens, and I just want it a little bit easier to get on and off. That was my overview of the Cali City helmet. I highly recommend this if it's cooler or wetter where you live, or you ride an e-bike really fast and that cold air is blasting you in the face. I love this helmet. I think it's well worth the $125. And you personally can add some reflective hits on the outside of it, change out that rear light, and have an outstanding helmet for city biking. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. I have a few other helmets that I would love to do these quick videos on. So let me know what I should be covering and I'll do my best to get them done soon because we're moving the end of May and I need to get all of this stuff done. If you got this far in the video, thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment if there's something to say, and I'll see you in the next video.